What's up everybody? Spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode of Space Engineers. And when we left off, we were working on the Y-Wing, which we are going to be continuing today. Um, I did resolve a bit of the engine design issue here. If you can see, I spaced out. I took these two pylon pieces that connected out here. I made a, a ring for it to connect to. And then I, uh, I shifted this around a little bit and brought it up a little higher and brought these in. This made it look much, much more like the actual uh, Y-Wings from Star Wars. At least from what the pictures I'm looking at and what I can remember. So we're going to try and duplicate that. So I have to remove this piece. Let's flip this around here. And go out. There we go. And now we're going to take these guys away. I don't want to take too much because I don't remember... Whoa, that's freaky. Is that right where I need it to be? That is right where I needed it to be. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fill this in because I thought this was open, but after looking at the pictures, it's really not, which works in our favor. Um... And still trying to figure out how to get this thing to flip the way I want it to. There we go. Uh, we'll put these there. And boom. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. So now we're going to work on this edge piece. Now, hmm, I hadn't thought of this. But I wonder if it's better to go... Let me at my image that I'm working with here. I'm wondering if it's better to do... I can I can afford to break that one. To do it up here and do like that. No, I think that'll be too close together. Um, upper, upper wise, it'll put them... it'll put these... because it would put the other one like here. I think that would end up too close. No, I like it the way it is. Alright, let's fix this. And swivel. Yay! Okay. So what I'm looking at in my image thing that I'm using as kind of a, a point is I'm going to try and make this come out, build it out a little bit, and make it more circular. Or, yeah, I guess circular is the word I'm looking for. Like this, maybe? Kind of like what we did um, on the other... Whoa. Nope. Wrong way. Nope. Dang it. I like the system, but the the buttons for what do what can get really confusing. Nope. Other way. Other way. Thank you. Okay, so this should give it a bit more of a circular shape. Which is really what we're looking for here. Really? Can I? Oh, I hate these corner blocks so much. They're cool, but I can never get them to flip the way I need them to. Okay, so we should put one right, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that should work better. And now we'll go through and place these guys, these little, little boogers, get in the right spot. That should give us a bit more of a circular look. Like so. Me. Okay. Alright, I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. Now, I don't really like these corner pieces, but... I don't think... Wait a minute. We'll just take this one out. Is there a way around that? I wonder. Let's go in for a closer look. Can we flip it to where... I don't know if these will do that or not. Need it like that? Oh, wait a minute. No. No, I don't think it'll do it because it wants to put it over in the corner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I need those blocks there. Dang it. Alright, so I guess 
That'll mean that we're just gonna have to fill this part in, maybe. How much room does that leave us with? Because I'm looking at the... Oh, oh no, 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 no. I'm looking at the uh, image that I had downloaded, like the schematic looking thing. And this kind of looks like the um, the end cap piece, but it actually has two rings in it, and it has a cross beam like this in the center. So I guess we'll just have to deal with the cross beam, and we won't have a second uh, a second uh, loop inside there like it would normally have on the screen. But I like this. This is really good. Well, not. I don't know. I, it works for me. I don't know if it's actually really good. The headpiece is looking worse than the the engine cell. The engine looks fairly accurate. I do keep thinking though. I thought of this a little bit ago. This dude over here, my little diamond ore block, took all these engines to move it. Like, at all. Kind of thing. And did I put a gravity generator in this? Or am I picking... Oh, I'm picking up that one, I think. And this has a mass of 338 kilograms, and it barely ever wanted to move. But I'm concerned that being a small ship, or at least classified as a small ship, that this, this sucker... 585. I'm gonna need a crap load of engines to move this thing. But we're gonna work with it. It'll be okay. Um, last thing I want to touch on for the engine is the inner part here. Let's see if we can't clean it up a little bit. Why can't I move my camera? Okay. Um, that's a block. I don't know. So, once again, I hit the pause button when I was rotating the blocks over there. And I totally missed a section that was really kind of funny. Um, so you'll notice the engines are off. So what happened was, I thought, I wonder if this has enough thrust to actually move this big engine. Because I went over and I got in that one and it has about 338 kilograms of mass. And when I got in this guy, he has 585. So it got me concerned that I wouldn't have enough power or thruster any anyway, not necessarily power energy, but push um, to move this thing once I'm done building it. Well, so I got in it and I pushed forward and I was like, yay, it moves, that's good. It didn't move real fast yet, but it moved. And then I realized, I only had that direction and this direction of thruster, so this guy was just coasting towards these rocks over here. And I really quick got out and grabbed these guys and just started placing them, and it, because I had enough power to run them, it stopped the ship from moving. And then I got in and turned this, turned the engines off, which you do by pressing Y, I believe. Yeah. Um, so yeah, don't do that. Don't move the ship until you have all directional thrusters engaged, because otherwise it could be bad. Um, so what I'm going to do... Let's see if we can't match this. Alright, how many blocks... This should be about the same. Ten blocks... Oops, nine blocks. And from there should be nine blocks. Okay. So that's where we want it. So, let's go ahead, and this would normally take a while, um, but with the new control system that they have to where you can just kind of drag things out, it actually doesn't take too long um, to do this kind of stuff. It's mostly the planning, to be honest, from what I've, from what I've experienced anyways with this, is it's mostly about... Is that right? I think that's right. Nope, one off. Okay. 
See, I do like that as opposed to um, like Minecraft, where there's no real good way to line things up. This lets you actually connect from a far distance and such. I'm sure, obviously, when they get the um, oop, I left click. I'm sure, obviously, when they get the survival mode implemented and all of these blocks cost, you know, minerals or something, then heck, it's gonna. Phew, you wouldn't just be able to grab and drag, I doubt. But in a creative mode situa situation like this, you know, it works pretty well. Alright, so one, two, and then three across. Okay, so this is like this. One, two, right? Yeah. And then three. One, two, three. I'm trying to build this one out a bit more. Um, I'm trying to watch my fingers so I don't pause my recording again. Um, I'm trying to build this one out a bit more um, on camera. So that for those of you that are watching, you know, you see what I'm doing. As opposed to just, hey look, this is what I did and it's done now. Um, you know, that way you can do it on your worlds or whatever. Whatever you like. Two. Let's go ahead and put these down. Nope. One. And two. And then connect the dots. Okay. So yeah, now that I know, like, design-wise, exactly kind of what I'm doing, it makes things a whole lot easier. Uh, let's go from this, this direction here. What I'm gonna try and do is bring this over here. Oh, no? Maybe? No? Come on. You're not gonna let me do that? Oh, you know what I can do is this one. I could probably do from here. There we go. Alright. And... Then this is lined up correctly. Like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So now what we can do... See, it kind of gives you some guidelines so that you can figure out where you where you are. How do... Flip the right way, dang it. The flipping mechanics of this gets very confusing to me. I'm probably just not good at it, to be honest. It probably makes perfect sense to somebody who's better in three-dimensional spaces, but for me, it's confusing as crap. I can never tell which way I'm flipping. Okay, so that's good. Get rid of this. And that, and that. And we should be pretty much lined up. That's why I said I wanted to do one so that I knew what I was doing. And that way I can do... Oop, hold on. Is this right? Yeah, I guess it is. It sure doesn't look right, but whatever. Who's to argue? So one, two, three... Okay, let's get rid of this now. And in case you were wondering, I, I usually leave one little block there um, so that I can grab it manually. And the reasoning being um, that because of how far you can delete blocks, um, you run the risk of having your current block into uh, like into that over there and you don't realize it because the color goes away. It's like lost in the in the next block kind of thing. I hope that makes sense. It makes sense to me, but a lot of things make sense to me. Okay, and let's do one, two, three. And one, two, three. Okay. And nope. Flip around. Wait, is that how I want? No, that's how I want you. Okay. There. There. And there. 
Come on. There we go. Okay. So that should be the the simple simple shapes. Let's see and boom. See like that kind of stuff. That would that would take forever. Oops. Nope, 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 nope. Mm -mm. That would take forever if you were just doing this one block at a time kind of thing. But with that control shift and and planes drag. Uh, that can make it a whole lot easier. Okay. Like this. And... Flip you around again. Um, where am I ending up? Over here. Here, and... Come on. One more block. Did that work? Yeah, that worked. Okay, cool. Um, and then I'll fill the... Actually, I don't... I guess I don't really need to fill the inside in, because we're going to cover it all up. So I can just leave that, and that'll make placing the... Um, uh, yeah. The engines, the, the reactor pieces, that'll just make that easier to place. Okay, and 23. Boom. Now, a couple more flips. And... Boom. And now, we're going to connect this up. So we've got our engine. One more flip. Should be this one, I think. No. Dang it. Right, and boom. Oh, I missed the other one. Darn it. I missed this guy up here. And boom. Alright, so the main shell of it is done. Now we get to the sculpting complicated stuff. It's not really complicated, but... Um, here, let's zoom in. I like third person, but it just is difficult to manage sometimes. Uh, like this. Now, how did I do this? Okay, so it's two, three down. From the center. So, flip, flip, flip. Oops, there we go. Flip. Okay. This is two. Oops. Place that. Is that right? No. That's not right either. There we go. That's better. Okay. Now... We'll do the same thing over here. Oops, wrong direction again. One, two, three. And flippity flip. Flippity flip. Flippity flip. Flippity flip. There we go. Now we're getting the hang of it. Flippity flip. Flippity flip. Okay. Turn you around. One, two, three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, hey, you know what? We can do the control thingy. There we go. Speed this up a lot. Look at us. We're getting good at this. Kind of. Sort of. Maybe. Flippy flip. Flippy flip. Alright, there we go. Now comes the fun part. All right, we're going to do these guys first, because I despise them. Like, they're a cool block. I kind of wish Minecraft would have something similar, but they just don't ever turn the way I want them to. It's like this. Why? Why? Just, no, go that way. 
Thank you. Just pain in the butt, man. Just pain in the butt. And, wait a minute. What did I do over here? Is this... Okay, it's one of these... No, no, no. No, it's flat block. Or did I not do it that way? I don't know. We're gonna do it this way. Because I don't know how I did it on the inside, but the inside really doesn't matter. This is not an interior part of the ship. So, it doesn't matter. And then we'll put a block there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okie dokie. And now we should be able oop, to, no, get back there. There we go. Do all one side at the same time. Yeah. Now we're getting it. Turn him around this way. Bloopity blop blop bleep. All right, look at us. We'll have this into mass production in no time. All right, now, what did I do over here? Okay, we got three angles. One of the corners. Okay, all right, I think I got this. We'll do like this, right? Yeah, we're only one row. Okay, cool, that'll save us some time. I'd like to get... Wait a minute. What, what way am I facing? Oh, it's flipping it the wrong way. Of course. Um, and keep in mind, that is not a bash on the game. I'm not complaining about the game. It's just me. I can't figure out what the best way to do it is. Um, I'm still some somewhat stunned by how awesome this game is for being an alpha. It just blows my mind. If I could ever figure out how to spin this thing. No. There we go. I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And rotate these guys. Where are you going? Nope. Okay. Should all be accurate. That looks wrong. Why does that look wrong? It's not wrong. Why does it look wrong? I don't know. It's not wrong. At least not per the what I'm building. I mean, it might not be accurate to the actual Y-Wing, but hey. I never claim to be a great artist person. I'm just building stuff that would be fun to build. Okay, so now here, here, nope, dang it, fricker, here, and come on, here, 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 and here, boom, engine shell done, all right, now the last part, this one was a little tricky, it's Slants, and then what am I looking at here? Uh, one of the corners and the angle guys, and then straight. Okay, okay, okay. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Let's fill the um the engines up first. Oh, let me. That was confusing. All right, so you don't really need. Well, I... Pfft, take that back. Don't listen to me about what you need. I have no idea how much power you need for these ships. I just pretty much fill them up with reactors. Because it's creative mode, and at some point I won't be able to do that. When the mineral mining stuff gets put into place. So until that happens, I kind of just... Yeah. Just put whatever you can think of. Oh, jeez. Well... That wasn't what I meant to do. I meant to do this. And then... This. Come on. Stop trying to put it towards me, you stupid thing. Get down. Get there. Good enough. 
Alright, so I'm going to pause this, I think, and we're gonna try and, f and we're gonna fill this up, but I mean, it's not, it's not complicated, it's just tedious. I'll be right back. Alright, and we're back. Um, I actually think this one has more power cells than the other engine does. Um, so we're gonna flip it around real quick. Oh, no, let's put these down first. These guys are kind of the baseline for where these thrusters go. And then just for a little extra oomph, I put some of the smaller ones in here also. Um, there we go, let's spin these around. Like so. Okay. So now we do solids up along these edges. And then we need a corner block here. That is going to irritate me. Flip. Flip. Alright, that's good enough. I think that's where I need it to be anyway. Um, wait. Turn back. That'll work. And now I need it this way. Boom, and of course it doesn't, okay, there we go, three, <sighs> flip. I have to keep looking to make sure I'm still recording because I keep messing that up. Okay, Let's set these up, ooh. Fingers on the wrong keys, okay. Nope, that wasn't the right way. There we go. Alright. And engine number two is finito. So at this point, the body is basically done. Um, so what I'm going to do is add some thrusters. Flip. Flip. Um, I think what I'm going to do for this, since it, they're three tall and two wide, is rotate them this way. Oh, that actually works. Okay, let's keep that. And now on this side, let's, let's get, get out here so I can see what I'm doing. On this side, let's flip them like this to give it some other directional thrust. Reverse thrust, I suppose, is what the actual term should be. I don't know if I can fit... Uh, no, I can't put those there, but I could put... Oh, let's put a couple here. Um, nope. Is that where? Yeah, that's where I want it to go. Okay. Um, down. Let's see. Can we... Put one back here, maybe? Oh, there's a slant there. Okay, let's... Oh! Shoot. Alright, hold on. Hold on. Wrong button again. Dang it. What am I doing? I'm breaking the thing. I don't... I don't know. I don't know what I broke. Alright, there's three wide, so let's... Oh, that's the one I broke. Right there. Flip it up like this. And I don't know if we'll need this big one here. I'm hoping we can get away with the small one. Um, let's see if we can't. Oh, let's put some on the side. There we go. That'll, that'll work. Or on the side of these, maybe? Put some like this. So that's... Three, that should be good, and then we'll flip them and put a couple because it needs some down ones like this. Can or we'll put them along the side, maybe? Nope, wrong button, wrong way. Ah, flip, stupid thing. I'm telling you, man, cannot get these things to flip around. All right. So that should be four down, or no, at least three down, 
Two smaller ones, maybe, if I remove that. You know what? Let's do that. I don't like that. I should have enough thrusters here now, so... Let's get rid of this. Break all of that. Break that. Flip this around, and... Much better. And then we can put a cap on there just for the heck of it to make it look nicer. Alright, so we've got three and maybe a half down. Uh, four back. Five forward. And four up. So that way, that way, that way, that way. Yeah, that should work. Oh, side to side. I don't have any sideways ones. Um, let's put some... How about... If we were to figure out how this flipping mechanic works. And put a couple there. I don't know if this will look right or not, but let's put... That one there. That... Hmm. That might look weird. I'm trying to keep things aesthetically... Oh, yeah, there we go. Perfect. And then we'll flip it like so. Like so. Come on. Come on. Play nice. Thank you. And there we go. Alright. So it's got its thrusters, so let's see how she flies. Because we are a little bit over. I was trying to keep these episodes a little bit shorter. But, you know, what are you going to do? Alright, so... Turning, I'm not uh, feeling anything, to be honest. I don't know if I'm hitting the wrong... If there's certain buttons I'm supposed to push or not. So I am moving. I don't mind the look of this. It looks okay, as far as the various thrusters go. Um... Yeah, I'm okay with that. The problem is it's not moving very far, or at least it doesn't look like it's moving very fast. Uh, power usage is only 6%, so I could put a lot more thrusters in here, which is good. Good. The problem I'm having is turning, because these thrusters don't seem to basically come on when, they're, when you're turning. Like, I can scroll the mouse, and it just doesn't move much. Um, so yeah. I mean, it works. It's just very, very slow on the turning. But in one direction or something, it works fairly, fairly decently, actually. I'm kind of happy with it. So next episode, we'll probably get into painting it and maybe reconfiguring the thrusters a bit. Um, so yeah. I think that'll about wrap it up for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you in the next one. Peace!